Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to play solitaire for Japanese style Mahjong, also known as Reach. This is a really fun style to play. It's very sophisticated, very strategic, complex, a lot of fun. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. I'm going to play four hands at one time. The last time I played, I lost track of, no, what happened? I forgot to discard. And I think I almost forgot whose turn it is. So I'm going to mark it with a die as far as whose turn it is. And that way, I hope I won't forget whose turn it is and to discard. Let's see what happens. I have all my tiles out behind these risers. And each player has a tenbo just in case somebody reaches. And we don't need the dice. That was for something else. We're going to say that it is East Round. I'm going to take 14 random tiles for East. There's the tiles for East. I'm going to get random tiles for South, West, and North. Everybody has their tiles. Let's build the con wall. Seven tiles, two rows high. Okay, I'm gonna flip Dora. Nine crack is Dora. Let's see what East can do. East has a pair of twos and a pair of west. Six discards if Hanitsu is the choice. That's too many. We would have four discards if we played Pinfu, including a pair of west. We have a potential chi. There's a chi. Potential chi. Oh, sorry. No, right there. Potential chi. Isolated tiles. Yeah, that's not a good start for east. So let's try for Pinfu here. There's work to be done for sure there. All right, let's try now to see what we can do for South. South is going to play Hanitsu. I think that's my favorite hand. Can you tell? If you've watched my videos, you know I like playing big hands. Hanitsu is not really that big of a hand. It's a pretty hand, and look, we have Dora, Akadora and Dora. I would get rid of these two first, because you can do nothing with these, and then I'd hold these. We do have a pawn of, a pair of, we have a pair of dragons, green dragons, so that could be a Yaku right there. Either all a uh, green dragon, Yaku, or half flesh. We'll see what happens with that. Let's see what West has. West has a pair of Souths and a pair of green dragons. Part of this solitaire game is you have to be able to compartmentalize. We have to play as if we don't know what's in these other hands. So I would not know that there's a green dragon in these hands. I'm going to play as if I don't know. This is just really good practice. I would play Hanitsu again here. Half flesh with dots and honors. That's what I would do. Let's see what North has. North has just two honors. That's not a lot to work with as far as a pinfu hand. They do have a fair number of dots, though. I would, I would still, I think, try for pinfu here. 
these are isolated. One, three, that's a potential chi, potential chi, isolated. Potential chi, potential chi. I would get rid of these first. So north is going to try for pinfu. Okay, so we're going to start by east discarding. And I'm going to track whose turn it is using this die. So it is east turn. We are playing pinfu, so we're going to just chop it off at the knees and discard a white dragon. And to me, when anyone starts throwing dra uh, dragons and wins right away, I know they're playing pinfu. More likely than not, that's what they're doing. So I just announced that I'm playing pinfu. Okay, so let's discard, or we need to draw for south. They got a five bam. That's a pair. They could play all pwn maybe. Here's a pair, here's a pair, and there's a pair. Pwn, pwn, pwn. Let's see what happens. Let's discard the two bam. So that's south discarding. Now it's west turn. They drew a north. If they're playing a half, a half flush, we should keep that. Let's get rid of the eight bam. Their discards are to the lower left. We're drawing for north now. Six dot. Okay, so we're gonna play pinfu up here. Let's get rid of the white. There's already one out. So we'll discard to the upper left, and it is now east turn. They got a seven crack. We're playing pinfu, so we're going to discard the north and draw for south. Nobody can take the north. Eight bam. That was just discarded a minute ago, so we're going to discard that and draw for west. Eight crack. That's not a keeper at all. We're going to discard it. Eight crack, drawing for north. They got a one bam. That could be the pair maybe, because this is a potential chi. Oh, potential chi, potential chi, isolated. Let's get rid of the red. Okay. Drawing for east. They drew a two bam, that's good because that filled in right here. One, two, three, pair, potential chi, this is isolated. Let's throw the west and we're going to draw for south. They drew an eight bam, again, discard, eight bam, drawing for west. Six crack, that's not a keeper. They're playing a half flush. It doesn't really, let's throw the one crack. That's for west. And we're going to draw for north. They drew an eight dot. Let's see how this is working out for them. Chi, chi. These are isolated, as is the two dot. There's a pair. This is isolated. There's a chi. We need a chi in here somewhere. Let's get rid of the seven crack. And that is for north. Nobody can take a seven crack. So we're gonna draw for east. They drew an east. Let's discard that west. And now we're gonna draw for south. They got a nine bam. That's not a keeper. We're gonna discard. Nine bam. Drawing now for west. Five dot. That might give them some help right there. Let's throw the three crack. And now we're going to draw four north. Nobody can take the three crack. Wait a minute. That's not true. Right here, there's a three crack. South. Pwn. We're going to pwn it. So I, let's see, this was from west. So we'll indicate it like so. Now, West has to discard one dot. North, or South discards. South discarded one dot. Nobody can take a one dot, so it's West turn. They drew a three bam, that's not a keeper. So we'll discard a three bam for West. 
Now, nobody can take the west, or the three bam, nobody can take that. So we'll draw four north. They got a four crack. That's a good pair tile for them. Chi, chi, potential chi. Oh, they have too many pair. We could turn this into a chi. Let's throw the two dot. Because this could be the pair and this could be their, their fourth chi. So let's see what happens there. So North discarded a two dot. Nobody can take a two dot. They already have a chi using the three, four. So we don't need to expose to take that two dot. We already have a chi. Let's draw. White dragon, that's already in our discard pile. So that's going away. We're gonna draw now for South. Oh, five crack. Very nice. I'm going to throw the two dot. Two dot discarded. So now nobody can take a two dot. It's West's turn. West drew an East. I think there's already an East. No, there's no East out. They're playing a half flush. Let's get rid of the five crack for West. Nobody can take a five crack. So we're going to draw for North. They drew a west, that's not good for them. We're gonna discard the west for north. And nobody can take a west, so we're gonna draw now for east. They drew a one dot. I suppose we could break this up, three, four, five into one, two. We need cheese. Here's a pair. Let's throw the east. <clears throat> and now it is south's turn. They drew a one crack. Now, these are all potential cheese. I'm gonna get rid of the five, bam. I think they should play a half flush. They already have a pung of three cracks out. We're gonna switch to half flush here and drawing for west. They got a four bam, that's a discard. Four bam. Nobody can take a four bam. So we're gonna draw for north. They drew a south, that's not a keeper. They're playing, they're playing pin foo. They've already got their pair. We're gonna discard a south. And south has a pair of souths, I mean west. West has a pair of south, we're gonna pwn it. So I will put that out and north through that. So west is going to indicate it, let me think here. If I'm west, I'm gonna indicate that exposure like this to indicate north discarded it. Okay, oh, that was for west, so that comes down here. West now needs to discard, six crack. And it's north's turn again. Nobody can take a six crack, so we're gonna draw for north. Three bam, all right, let's see. Chi, chi, potential chi. They have too many pair in here. Look at all these pairs. Pair, pair, pair. Okay. Oh, we could maybe do a, a pure double chi right here. Pure double chi. Let's get rid of these and shoot for pure double chi. There's one two bam out though. It's going to be a risk. But if you don't take a risk, you can't win big. Let's throw seven bam. And it is now east turn. East turn. They're playing pinfu. Pinfu is concealed. You'd think, well, why can't they take that seven bam? Pinfu is concealed. They can't take that. They have to draw this themselves. So we got to draw. They drew a north. That's a discard. And we're gonna now draw for south. Four bam, that's a discard. Drawing now for west because nobody can take a four bam. They drew a red dragon, that's really nice. So let's throw an east. There's already, actually there's Two north south. Let's discard the the north. 
Okay, now we're going to draw for north. They drew a seven crack. That's not helpful. We're going to discard it. Seven crack. And we're going to come down here to east. Nobody can take a seven crack, so we're going to draw for east. They drew a nine dot, which is no filler tile. This is a discard. Nobody can take the nine dot, so we're going to draw for south. Five dot. That's Akadora. I'm going to get rid of it right now. Five dot. Nobody can take the five dot. Drawing for west. One, one dot up here. Okay, so there's a potential chi, potential chi, potential chi, chi, pone, pone, east. Let's discard the east. So this player here needs to chi or pone. We're going to draw for north. Four dot, that's a good tile, maybe. Chi, lots of potential there, mixed triple chi pair. Let's get rid of the six bam. And we're gonna draw now for east. They drew a five, five bam, a pretty five bam too. Okay, so they have potential chi. There's a pair, this is isolated. Here's a chi. Right there, isolated. Here's a potential chi with bling. See that bling in there? It's a pretty Akadora tile. And a potential chi. So I think we need to get rid of something here. This is the two-sided weight. Maybe we should keep that one dot and throw the eight. This is a two-sided weight too. Let's get rid of the eight bam. And now this one probably will go next, right there. Let's draw for south. So eight bam was discarded, nobody can take it. They drew a nine crack. That's a good tile for them. That could be a pair or a pone. Here we have a chi, these are isolated. Let's get rid of the five bam. And now we're gonna draw for west. They drew a two bam, that's a discard. We're going to discard it. Two bam. North's turn. Chi. North took a chi from west. North took a chi from west. So we'll indicate it like that. And now we will discard a four dot. They're ready on a two bam for a pure double chi. Okay, we're going to draw now for east. They drew a nine dot. That's not a keeper. And then we're going to draw up here now. Let's take a peek up here though. Yeah, they, they can't take a chi from east. And they need to pone. We're going to draw for south. They drew a seven bam. That's not a keeper for south. We're going to draw for west. Two bam. Not a keeper. Discard. Mahjong. They just mahjonged and they have a pure double chi right there. So north mahjonged. One, two, three, four sets and a pair. Pure double chi is their yaku. That's all they have though. They don't get any Dora. They have no Dora, no nine crack, and they don't get Uradora because they exposed this set. So they have to count many points. That's gonna be a really low scoring hand, but that's okay. Any win is a good win. Let me know what you think about Solitaire for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Reach. I think it's a really great way to practice picking and discarding and making decisions along the way and learning all the yaku. If you have your own set, get it out and give it a try. Come back and let me know what you think. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. After you click subscribe, click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these exercises that may give you some new strategies and insights into the game that can give you an advantage at the table.
between now and the next solitaire for Japanese mahjong, also known as Reach. May all your picks be keepers.